Hey guys and girls, Ginger here, back with another video, and yeah, we're um, here in Beast Room Simulator, and Beast Room came out yesterday, I tried to record twice, but both, both got corrupted, and uh, yeah, I got, yeah, so first thing you're gonna wanna do when you spawn in is talk to B-Bear, do his first quest, so you can get the, um, B-Quip case, and it'll give you this elf hat, so how this works basically is you, you click on the B-Quip case here, and drag it in, works. But some B-Quip cases have requirements, just like the Puppy puppy Reindeer Antlers. Like this, it can only be specified to the Puppy Bee. And the storage, let's go down to the storage. So, this is my permanent storage. This right here. The inbox is, yeah, when your permanent storage gets full and you can put, yeah, the stuff will be moved to your inbox instead of your permanent storage. And it will take you 25 slots in the inbox and... If you keep them in the inbox for more than 48 hours, they'll all despawn. Every single one. Yeah, that's that. And you can do some other quests from the NPCs around the map as well. So basically, once you spawn in, you get this Honey Day buff from Onnet, and he'll give you a present, which you can use on any NPC. And I used mine on Black Bear, and let's go check out the buffs from this, yeah, from this Honey Jar. 25% convert rate, 25% capacity at sunflower 5% honey per pollen that is a lot of yeah so big boost big boost so I will be showcasing what the um, decorations near the NPCs will be doing at nearer uh, to the end of the video and as you can see presents have returned presents have returned so these presents yeah they're really good and they do um yeah they do give good buffs just like last time and yeah you might be wondering why do I have so many buffs up here but yeah these are snowflakes, you can find them around the map, as the, and a snowstorm can be stormed just like a honey storm, like this one, like this one. I'm pretty sure um, I can get one of my friends to summon in a snowstorm later on in the video, and yeah, once you use one, you see this is 92%, if I use one, it should be going to 93, look at this, look at the buff, the buff is, yeah, very good. You also have Bee Bear's catalog right here, which you can use, um, gingerbread bears, and snowflakes. Snowflakes are rather common to find, so you can use them if you want, but if I was, if I were you, I will save them up and get myself, yeah, some of the stuff first, then maybe later I can use the, um, yeah, snowflakes. And gingerbread bears, gingerbread bears. So, you can get them from the mother bear, from the mother bear, her little, little thing here. So you need to be in a game every, t every two hours, it'll give you one. So if you forget to check every two hours and you come back in like six hours, let's say, it'll give you three bears because they're three times of two hours in six hours. So you you get three bears. It like stacks basically. That's yeah, that's really helpful as well. That is extremely helpful. Oh, and marshmallow bees are gone. Marshmallow bees are they're they yeah, they're gone. They're gone. Yeah, you can only get them back at Easter. But enough of the boring stuff and the updates. Now all we're gonna do is yeah. Check out the um, new stuff in the update. Oh, and I, if I did forget to mention, the Mondo Trick buff has been nerfed. It's from 1.4, it's now 1.08. Still a lot, though. You can still use it for field boosts. Um, Yeah, it's been nerfed because of the um, the Beesmus buffs from the ornaments and all the other buffs. But, yeah, yeah still, pre still a pretty good, good buff to me. Here's a snowstorm, guys. It's, um, yeah, it's... Rain snow from the sky, and every field in every field you can go and um yeah collect yourself some snowflakes. This is one of the main sources to, of getting snowflakes. The other one is of course the snow bear from the yeah, panda bear's quest, which is uh, I'm not sure which one gives more, but both of them do give a lot. So I was lagging right there, so I only managed to get six, but usually you can get like thirty or twenty each snowstorm. So guys, we are back, and um, yeah, you, you just saw the snowstorm in action. Now, we're, you can also get the um, snowstorm by finishing Boko B's quest and using the uh, snowstorm machine. So let me explain how the snowstorm works. It's like a honey storm. It can be spawned in by the um, machine, or randomly, it can be spawned in randomly. Now, for the um, honey wreath, the once you get from, fin after you get it from finishing Black Bear's quest, I have... 290,000 pollen as you can see so if I go and admire the honey wreath you can admire it once every 30 minutes I will be getting 900,000 honey that's a lot that's like a three times boost but for me I have the honey mask and the um 
what else do I have? The uh, gifted um, honeybee, so it's a bit more for me. And next up is our boy Brown Bear. After he finishes quest, you can check inside the stockings and you will get three random items and one is guaranteed to be a bee quip. Usually it is the um, elf hat, the elf cap, but sometimes it may vary. Oh yeah, the gingerbread house. Yeah, as I said, it varies. Um, varies around if, if it's like if you d forget to check one like once, you come back in four hours and it'll be two. But this is two hours. We can come back and we get one. As you can see, one bet every playtime, two hours. Only when you're in the game though, playtime. Yeah, you get it. So the next one is science best. So for this one, I need to gather up with my friends in a field. So it does work in pineapple. It works in the mountain top. It works in almost every field. I have not tested the bottom fields, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work at down the bottom fields. Cause um you can only lock it up there. So let's um yeah, let's go here and see if the um thing spawns and I'll get some of my um friends here as well. So a couple of my friends are um here. Um so it should start falling on here um, in here in a bit. So it's very quick by the way, you have to be quick. Oh, I think half just got a um half got his one. So now I have to wait for my turn, which will be... Oh, right there, right there. So as you can see... Oh, I missed them all. We missed them all. Let's wait for a um, another one. There it is. There it is. So if you do manage to hit, when you get inspired tokens, all of your honeys converted instantly. You get, like, for each token, you get an inspire. The next... If you hit two, you get a uh, two times inspire. So it's a pretty neat buff, but it is hard to catch them. And you do need to catch them for on its quest. So you better get used to them. You better, yeah. You need to be good at this. You need to be extremely good at this. So guys, my friend um half is gonna spawn in his snow bear. I'm not sure what level it is. Oh, it's the same as mine. It's a level four. So let's go and um, yeah, crack on with this um this guy. You get a lot of snowflakes um from him. You can. I'm not sure if I get it, but I'm pretty sure he does. Yep. Oh, there's some more of um science bears lights. So now the last NPC that I've unlocked is Polar Bear, which I have not, um, the, the cooldown's still going, so yeah. Last but not least, the beast from the Polar Bear! So this is one of the best decorations for Christmas. So yeah, you can feast on the beast and you'll get 1,000 bond, 9 bitter berries, and blueberries, and treats! These are a lot. So you usually get 1,000 bond, 18 bitter berries, and 2,000 treats, and a random treat like strawberries, blueberries, and pineapples. This is really good, and as it said, the more polar power you have, the better the um, rewards are, the more XP your bees gets, yeah, and stuff like that. But, yeah, I'm gonna end the video off there. If you guys are new and you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Bye!